So my name is Christine Booker. I am the Total Joint Nurse Navigator with the orthopedic team at Maine General. I have been with Maine General for about five years. Uh, I'm new to the orthopedic team, but I chose to be the Total Joint Nurse Navigator because I was very interested in helping patients with this process um, and really feel like I can be a support to patients who are going through this journey. As part of preparation for same-day total joint surgery, patients will have an appointment with me, which is about 30 to 45 minutes long, where we will discuss all of the steps of same-day total joint surgery, including what you can do to prepare before surgery, what the timeline of the day of surgery will look like, and in everything that you will need to know for after surgery. So another part of the nursing visit with me is ensuring that patients have the equipment that they need at home. If needed, we'll order a walker or a cane or any of those things that patients may need after surgery to make sure that you have everything that you need ahead of time. We also provide many other resources to patients, including our total joint replacement journal, which patients will receive when they decide to have surgery. They can review it before coming to the visit with me. That way they can ask any questions or concerns that they may have. That journal will detail all of the information that we'll cover in the visit and lots of other details that are helpful to know as well. And that journal is important for patients to bring to all of their appointments. Um, before surgery, uh, bring the day of surgery and after surgery to any follow-up appointments to have with them. Some major things that patients can do to prepare before surgery. One of the most important things is designating a coach, which is someone who is going to be your main support person. So this could be a spouse, a, another family member, or a close friend who can come to appointments with you, who will be with you the day of surgery, and who can be available to you 24 seven for the first week after surgery for support. Patients are also going to want to arrange for help after surgery. It's important to know that you may not be able to do all of the same activities of daily living in the same way that you did before surgery. So making sure that you have someone to be available to help you with those things and try to make sure that you don't have any huge responsibilities for the first few weeks after surgery. So remember to cancel work responsibilities, volunteering, anything like that for at least a couple of months until you get clearance from your surgeon. Some things that patients can do to prepare their home for surgery um, include making sure that there aren't any tripping hazards in the house, so going through the house and making sure you don't have any scatter rugs, loose cords, or any clutter where you're going to be walking after surgery. You want to make sure that you're going to have plenty of space to navigate your home with a walker, at least for the first couple of weeks. And you also want to make sure that you have adequate lighting in places that you may be getting up during the night um, after surgery. And you also want to think about one level living if that's not something that you have feasible. If feasible, we do recommend trying to get a bed on the same level as your bathroom and all of those kinds of things. When you go home from surgery on the same day that you have your surgery, you will go home with a family member. Ideally, you will be out of the hospital at a reasonable time. And you will go home and you should have all of the equipment that you need already at home for you. You should have all of your stuff prepared with a safe and comfortable place for you to rest and recover. And you should have your medications available to pick up that same day. That way you will have those at home. The day after your surgery, you should get a phone call from a home health physical therapist where they will set up their first appointment with you. Ideally, your first home health physical therapy appointment will be the day after surgery. If not, hopefully the day after, or if it falls on a weekend, it may be the following Monday. You will also get a phone call from me the day after surgery to check in on you and see how you're doing with your pain control, how your dressing is looking, and how you've been able to get up and move around and all of those things. That way, if you have any questions or concerns, we can address them the very next day.
Home Health Physical Therapy will come see you in your home a couple of times a week for usually the first two to three weeks after surgery. Once you're discharged from Home Health Physical Therapy, you will begin outpatient physical therapy for a period of time, which is usually left up to the physical therapist depending on how you're doing with those visits. Part of my role as the Total Joint Nurse Navigator is to be completely available to patients who are having this surgery. So if you have any questions or concerns before or after surgery, you can feel free to contact me and I look forward to meeting and working with you.